Thanks, everybody, for listening in and the season open for the JCL. Obviously, we planned the season opener to be with the Panthers versus the Cardinals, but we had some recording difficulties, and that was not possible. So we got new teams. We got Jeff Garcia with the Bucks, and we got uh, Michael Turner, the great running back from the Falcons. That's going to be the main matchup for today, and what's going to happen? All right. I'm uh, Joe Steve Bob, uh, what, uh, former coach of Panthers, but now I'm using Redskins and NFC. So go ahead and see. Yeah, and this is, of course, uh, JCL Commissioner uh, Matt. So let's just get this game started. <laughs> All right, Atlanta Falcons versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 2008 season, week one. We are using the uh, 2008 uh, Mr. NFL final version ROM here with a few edits of our own and. Atlanta chooses the return, of course, after winning the toss to get their uh, CPU. It's a CPU for CPU game. So there's bound to be a few not so great decisions about the QBs and play calling, but you can just do it if you watch it. There's some like, classic things. Let me see. Norway here uh, does the 20 yard return, takes it past the 20. Pretty good. Uh, you can see the Falcons are in the black right there. It's pretty obvious. It's all, basically all, all black there, and the Bucks. And the red and uh, copperish brown color. You can even call it Turner here, you know, running 60 yards, not bad. Turner is one of the best running backs. He's good at max speed, very good max speed, and uh, okay, hidden power out there. Break some tackles. Turner here is going to break away. Juke! I would say it's at least 15 yards. It's 18 yard game. The, the Falcons, you know. They, they have a you know decent passing game, and they have Turner, you know, they can go any way they want. I think they're going to do the PA here, or maybe just down on them. They are running it, and passing it finally, and Matt Ryan throws it out of bounds. Good pass for staff Matt Ryan. <laughs> Incomplete. All right. So they're going to believe they're passing it again. Um, maybe play action up the middle. No, no it's a Turner, run. Turner breaks away again. Oh, but he gets, you know. Good dive and tackle. The Bucks don't really know what they're doing right now. Turner is very fast. I'm not sure calling them. He has some good run defenses. He's going to run all of you. The Bucks are be... using this formation a lot here. They're going to do it with Matt Ryan for the past few years. He's got two wide open receivers. Yeah, Patrick, uh, Miguel, Miguel, yeah. He's yeah, yeah, the fullback. Blue Alley? Blue Alley? I don't know. I have no idea. Does yeah. anyone know? No, of course not. Sorry, uh, 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 uh Falcon. Back. Turner, you know, pitches down into the middle, he's caught up in his own line. Well, I don't know why he did that, but Turner thought he saw that opening up the middle. I thought for sure this is where to go. Uh, yeah, no way. Falcons still having a solid drive, you know, already at the 20. Buccaneers, you know, it's nowhere, it's nowhere here. PA finally, and... Matt Ryan, 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 Ryan out of bounds again. Matt Ryan is not having a passing game today, but, you know, as long as he can get to Turner, you know, 3rd and 10, 3rd and 9, and he's going to They might just run up the middle with the... Nope. Oh, there we go. We got one one receiver passes to White, wide open in the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown. Roddy White, ready for a big catch. Uh, Matt Ryan finds a good pass for a home game. I mean, he missed the first two, so I was really I was waiting for him to make a uh, he had try to make the pass. But it's definitely going to be all about Turner and Matt Ryan not throwing the those interceptions. Yeah, he, I mean, he uh, you know, hits the post there. I think he's one of the top kickers in the in the JCL. All right, good kickoff. Elam is one of the best kickers in the whole league, but he keeps it perfectly. Bucks and Turner tries to take it out. Gets up. Eight-yard return. Uh, big sack right now could completely hit the scale from the Falcons' face. Let's see what Garcia can do here. He's going to you know, hand it off to Graham. Graham's going to get first down. That's a little bit more, maybe 12-yard gain. Exactly. Uh, Garcia is kind of a... Love hate quarterback for all San Francisco 49ers fans. He was on TV for a long time. Oh, oh that's wide open. open. That's that was Hillard. JJ. Overthrows him, but Hillard with a nice JJ. If we would have thrown in strikes, one of his wide receivers on top and bottom, it would have been a huge game. Yeah, 26. Not bad. Still a very good pass. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, a JJ is when the. Uh, Wide receiver jumps straight up, catches the ball, and it's set for jumping jack. That's a, it's, it's a technical term. I don't know who decided it, the point is, but that's oh, what it is. Oh, yeah, Garcia is a good sack right here. 
First sack of the game, big sack by Keith Brooks. You know, third and twelve. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, there's a lot more called plays in the, in the other game. So, it's, it's, it's kind of these defenses turn up. But right now, they're not really doing anything to it. Big ram up the middle. Goes to Brian. And Brian catches it in coverage. Good catch right there. Garcia having a good solid game. Pat, uh, catches in coverage are pretty rare. But, uh... Garcia is definitely a good enough QB, and he has a good enough wide receivers. That's not going to happen. I didn't go care about the same no. It's okay. I mean, both teams, you know, drove pretty consistently, and, you know, Atlanta scored, you know, for the first points on the board, and it looks like the Buccaneers might do the same. See, as long as I'm going to have to settle for a field goal, and tie this game up, it should be a very close game. The run. So you've got a couple options for those in the coverage, and this time, you can find it. That was Stevens. Uh, I'm not sure what position he plays. I think he might be the uh, tight end, but I'm not sure. Middle stuff. We only need three yards. Only got two. Only got two. Fourth and one. Big field goal coming up. Big field goal. I mean, this is a pretty important field goal, so that way they, they can stay, you know. Kicking from the 39-yard line. That means the 49-yard field goal. It looks like right at the middle. Put up right. Good kick by Matt Bryan. I mean, 3-7 to seven is not perfect position, but it's not bad because it's still the first half, still four minutes left to go. Alright, now we return Norwood. Good uh, for the return, but good field position, pass the W yard line. Alright, let's see if they can duplicate what they did at the last position. Give me the turn. They really like this, uh... Well, flip back, strong side, I believe. Um, a little offset back section, that's flip back and summer. And they have they always have the pullback there to the block and stuff, but he never runs the ball. It's all a turner. If the ball's been run, go. it's all a turner. Right, press to White again. White making this on pass earlier. Dive catches it. I get still, but still, he's like play. Already in field goal range. 40 yard gain, the Falcons have been passing and running, you know, all over the Buccaneers this game. When Matt Ryan isn't throwing out of bounds, he's throwing it dead on to everyone else. All right, here we go. We're going to go pass again, but uh, have like, one or two full cover from the field. Catch it! Perfect! <laughs> Three guys dive, a triangle of diving defenders go around them, but they all miss. Justin Peely, a peel, a uh, catches it, touchdown. Wow, I've never seen that before. All three defenders all dive, and they all <laughs> miss, and he just runs it in. They went for the dive, but they were just too far away for coverage, and that just left them wide open for a run, you know, easily into the end zone right there. Wow. Uh,